Okay, so a lot of you have seen the picture uh, I put on of uh, when I was in college and I met my wife on Halloween night. And uh, then you see a picture of us um, celebrating our 50th anniversary. So someone asked and one of the made comment in one of the uh, comments and asked the question, do you believe in love at first sight? Well, I met her on Halloween night in a college bar. I had my best friend who had returned from Vietnam and recovered, but he was uh, blinded for life uh, by a sniper's bullet. But um, I had him with me and another friend named Chuck. And uh, so we entered the college bar and and I think Chuck took Jimmy because he, uh, you know, he couldn't see. He's got a blind cane, but anyway. Um, there was a uh, bunch of young ladies, 19 years old, I guess, um, who were down from Wheeling, West Virginia, doing their psychiatric nursing. So um, this is a true story. The first uh, young lady that I talked to her name was Donna Green, and well, I guess she wasn't for me. She told me to take a hike, so I did, and uh, went down to the other end of the table because Bonnie, that's my wife's name, caught my eye. And so I ended up getting her phone number, and uh, but the rest of the night was there was kind of crazy simply because I've got my friend uh, who's blind, and then I got my other friend named Chuck, a few years younger than us. Well, he kind of got in a fight, got sucker punched, so I had to drag him and my blind friend, like a brother to me, out of there. Anyway, so I called the number that Bonnie gave me, and uh, turned out you needed to know their first and last name. Well, it was a crazy night. I remembered Bonnie. I remembered her last name was kind of foreign. And so um, when I called that number, the house mother said, which Bonnie do you want? Whoa. Okay. Got to be creative. So uh, she said, well, you probably want... You mean Bonnie Stopsky? And I said, yep, that's it. I hope it is. So um, anyway, we, we chatted, and I made a, a, a date on uh, Election Day um, because I would not be student teaching, and they would not be in school as well. So she gave me directions to where they were staying in a dorm on the grounds of the, of the uh, state hospital in Huntington, and uh, so I followed her directions, or at least I thought I did, and ended up at a, bo a building that had been boarded up, plywood over the windows. And uh, so I thought, oh, I've been stood up. But, you know, I guess there is love at first sight or fate. And I went to a payphone and called the number and found the right dorm. And well, the rest is history. So we will celebrate 51 years in May of marriage. So I uh, hope that all of you out there have that same opportunity. Uh, marriage is tough. So that's going to do it. And remember, tomorrow is St. Patty's Day. Wear green. Oh, one last thing. So when we tell this story, my wife has her own very short and sweet version. She just simply says, he was one of my patients. So there you go. Y'all have a great day.